Welcome back, Zero K fans! And again, back to 1v1. It's gonna be on Ravaged, watching a game between Randy and Gode. Yeah, not much more to say about that. I mean, it's the two best players in the game going at it. Randy in the southwest going for Klugbot Factory, while Gode in the northeast going for planes. And as I mentioned last time I casted on this map, this map is a really good every matchup map. I. Maybe amphibious bots might have a slight disadvantage, but honestly, pretty much every single matchup works on this map. It's very nice that way. So, quick Avenger being built up here. Avenger, and then... And then it's a Phoenix. Well, Randy's going for one Glaive to scout and entirely focusing on economy afterwards. Beam Laser, E-Cell, Recon Com. Gode is going for no morph. Looks like he's probably going for a flamethrower-based Recon Com, judging by the name, but... Who knows? We'll have to find out when he finally morphs, if he finally morphs. And the Avenger is up. Air control isn't really a concern, but just in case. And then after that, Phoenix going to be coming in to try to burn everything out. And this Glaive... Well, defenders do well against Glaives. That's the one thing. However, at this point, Randy knows what Gode is up to. He knows he's going for air. He knows that he's his main base. He was expecting cheese. He had the defender up. So Randy is going to be... Probably getting, he's getting Jethro, so he got anti-air. That's upcoming. He may not be aware of the Phoenix. I'm not sure about that. We'll find out. The Jethro... I mean, it doesn't really matter. The Jethro is what he'd use. He knows there's air coming. He knows he's got to use Jethro. That's it. And... There it comes. This is the... Oops. Come on. There we go. So that Phoenix is incoming. It's going to be probably killing a fair amount of damage, too, once it gets in here. Come on, just... We'll see what it comes up with. I don't know what's going to hit, though. There's not a whole lot of great targets, but it is going to go for this here. Defender and Metal Extractor, that's... Well, that's still quite a bit. However, the Defender's the only one that's going to possibly go down. And even then, no, the Defender's going to be fine. The Metal Extractor is on fire, but the Rector is healing it up. A bit of a slowdown for Randy, but nothing too major. And a Shadow coming in, however. Five Shadows coming in to get rid of Randy's commander. And Randy, like I said, he did go for an E-Cell Commander, which means that his energy economy is, right now, entirely based on his commander. There are no energy plants whatsoever. None. Now, at the same time, Gode is a bit more conscientious. He does have three wind generators. He doesn't have a Morph in his commander quite yet, so no E-Cell. If he does, it doesn't matter. He has a ton of wind generators, though, and given the height of this map, like, the way this map is laid out, they're pretty high up. Those wind generators on this map work very nicely. And now Randy is getting more wind generators. A bit up front, though. It's going to be hard to work with this. It's going to be really hard to make that honestly work. One shadow is coming in, though. That shadow is... I'm oh, going towards the main base. The Jethro's are in a... They're in a really nice position, actually. One of them... They are going to go down. This Jethro is doomed, by the way. One of the shadows gets rid of it. Another shadow is going to be coming up to get rid of the commander pretty soon. But more and more shadows getting spotted out, actually. That is the one thing. The Jethro's are in place. Defenders are in place. This... That's going to be a bit of a problem, though. Not a big one, though. That's, the thing is that that should be more of a problem for Gode. He did basically waste that Phoenix shot, and that Phoenix is not completely dead, though. 146 health out of 700, so it's not... It's it's going to take a little while on the pad. That's the one thing. It's going to take a while on the pad, which means it's going to take a while for the next Shadow to rearm, which means that Randy has just bought himself that much more time. And Gode did not actually deal any damage using that Naval Monitor. I'm a bit surprised he didn't attack the main base, honestly. Not entirely surprised. That probably would have been suicide, but... It would have dealt more meaningful damage. But yeah, Randy is really going for the center of the map. He wants to take map control very hard. Gode is kind of seeding map control. He's switching to light vehicles, Ravager, Scorcher mix. Given the amount of Jethro's, that's... The Scorchers I can see. The Ravagers, I not really am sure about. I'm really not sure about those. A bunch of Rocco's following up as well for Randy. So just given the unit matchup, I think that Gode has an advantage here. Though I think it's going to come down to what goes on with this commander, because it is Beam Laser Commander. Oh. Against those Ravagers, that's going to be tricky. Not impossible, just a little bit tricky. And we do have... It looks like all the Shadows are going to be coming in. We'll see, though. It looks like... Yes, they are, in fact, coming in. How is that going to work? We have... Well... We have that... That particular melee tractor has gone down. Jethro is trying to deal with it as best they can, but they can't easily deal with it. And it looks like one of the shadows does go down. 
The other shadows are staying alive, and that's a nice, that is a very nice Phoenix shot. Getting rid of two of the Jethros right off, or at least keeping them revealed. Not quite getting rid of them. Gonna possibly kill one of them, but still. Keeping them revealed for a decent amount of time, or at least this one revealed. Not a bad shot. Another Phoenix would have been okay on that particular case, but it doesn't matter. The ground switch is happening, the vehicle switch is happening, Kore is getting his Raptors out, he's got his Scorchers out. Actually, getting darts out, my mistake. Switched over to darts, but still Raptors coming in here, and the Jethros don't have much of a chance. Randy upgrading his commander once again, however, the commander is going to take a lot of damage. This is going to be kind of tricky. This Raptor is getting out of the way, the commander needs to not die. Randy is banking a lot in his commander right now. He is getting up Glaives, he is getting up, or there was getting up Rocco's. No, getting up Glaives instead. And the Jethro's are gonna help out. Looks like Randy's commander, it's pretty close to death. One more shot is gonna kill it. Ravager here, trying to deal with it, and it might be able to do so. One more shot, there it goes. Randy's commander is down, and he still has an economic advantage, but that shadow goes down for free. And Scorch is coming in here to get rid of the Jethro. So despite all the Jethro's, I mean, it was the Ravagers that did it. The ground switch, that finished off the commander. Very nicely done there by Gode, and Randy, however, does have an economic advantage. He was building up wind generators in the meantime. He did make sure that his economy was not tied to his commander. So the timing was not the best. Gode does not have an advantage as a result. He has not morphed his commander either. And a bunch of glaives come in to finish this off. Or at least try to clear this out somewhat. And another shadow goes down. All of his air units, really, all of, Ran or all of Gode's air units, other than that one phoenix. This one phoenix is the only air unit he has left but still, that commander loss is pretty big. Randy was depending on it for building outside. The center of the map, his center map control is basically gone now. Glaive is trying to do what he can. Actually doing a decent job with the Glaives to deal with this. Glaive, having not morphed his commander, doesn't have a huge amount of firepower against the Glaives. And those two medley extractors are not nothing. However, that being said, these Jethros are a lot of metal that is no longer necessary. I don't even think that we're going to see any more Aryans built, at least for the next five or six minutes, from Glaive. I don't even know for the rest of the game if we're going to see Aryans, but definitely not for the next few minutes, because Scorchers and Ravagers are the thing to go for. And a nice flank coming in here. Going to try to flank with the Glaives. It, it's going to work, too. Or, wait, no, never mind. Godet, he charged in there with the Scorchers. That was the thing. That was the best thing to do there. But even with that, the Scorchers still go down, but kill a lot of Glaives in the process. However, they are distracting from the Ravager, which is the real story. And that's what's getting rid of everything else. Getting rid of the Metal Extractor goes down, though, and not... It doesn't go down until after the Metal Extractor stays alive. Or, sorry, it goes down before killing the Metal Extractor. That's what it is. I don't know why I'm, I can't speak today for some reason. But anyway, same time though, Godet coming with far more darts. He's just been, he's pumping darts out. Pumping darts like there's no tomorrow. Kind of tricky to make that work though, especially against a bunch of glaives. Against a few glaives is not a big deal, but against a bunch of glaives it becomes problematic. However, the Scorcher is coming in here. Not able to do too much, actually kind of misses. But still able to deal a bit of damage. Not a huge amount, I don't think. However, the Jethros, that's the big problem. The darts are going to be able to get rid of all these Jethros. And at this point, I think that more Aeners might be forthcoming now that the Jethros have gone down. Not much threat. Glaives are entirely Randy's game at this point. He's not focusing on all anything else. And this laser, this Lotus is not up yet. The darts going to be able to get rid of it. The Scorcher, definitely going to be able to get rid of it. And the Rector goes down on top of that from that Scorcher. That's basically game. And another couple of Rectors coming on here to expand, but like I said, the Commander having gone down means that there isn't a whole lot that Randy has to build with that can defend itself right away. However, at the same time, Glaive's coming around the back to deal with all this. Deal with all this base here, getting rid of a lot of Wind Generators, getting rid of a lot of Metal Extractors, and Scorcher's able to clean them up, but not before half the economy there has gone down. Really nice harassment from Randy. Unfortunately, it's not... He's not killing everything, but it is still harassment. He is still keeping an economic advantage as a result, in great part due to reclaim. But still an economic advantage. He is still keeping map control, at the very least, by keeping Gode inside his base, having to defend, having to worry about all these glaives coming around the map to deal with him. And... No... Okay, apparently, I think Skazi is pointing out that the wind generators make him hungry for cupcakes. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But... Cupcakes aside, we do have a bunch of glaives coming in here. They're going to try to get rid of the commander from the looks of it. However, this this phoenix, that's that's the big story here. If it gets through, actually the commander getting out of the way too, but the phoenix is going to do what it can. Gets rid of quite a few glaives, actually. 
But Goliath's commander gets out of the way before any real damage is dealt. But the real damage is dealt to the Clogibot factory. And the remaining Glaives coming in here have Scorch to deal with. And that's going to be a problem. As well as a Leveler. Levelers and Scorchers. Levelers primarily getting rid of the Glaives quite effectively. And at the same time, Scorchers and Darts just... The Scorchers and Darts are not letting this east side of the map be built up at all. There's been a switch over to Rocco's, by the way. Randy focusing on Rocco's primary. Rocco Glaive mix from the looks of it. Needs enough Glaives just to protect the Roccos from anything coming at them, but the Roccos are going to be able to get rid of the Levelers pretty well. The Glaives are going to be needed for the Scorchers, and even that's kind of risky, but it should work okay. Yet, yeah, a lot of control taken from the east side of the map for Gode. Preventing Randy from expanding too much, but Randy does have all this reclaim. That's the thing. Randy is building up heavily from the reclaim. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't set up a Caretaker in the center of the map to take up the reclaim even faster. But he has a bunch of Rectors to take it. He is taking it. He is building up with it. Caretaker's at his main base to build more Rectors. More and more How many Rectors does this guy have? Eight Rectors already. That's pr that's pretty big. It's a lot of Rectors. And Gode has not upgraded his commander quite yet. However, we do have more Phoenixes being built. They're definitely going for the anti-raider approach, and that's not a bad idea. These Rockos are going to have a harder time with the Phoenixes as well. They're not going to be able to dodge the shots as easily, but they're still pretty frail, and... Okay, they're not that frail. But still, 480 health is not that tough either. So they are... Well, they are a good target. However, that wasn't the best shot. The thing with Phoenix is you kind of have to target them and then move forward. So you, gotta, you have to target the attack on something, and then you have to target a move order afterwards. I can't really show it, but... That's what you have to do, because otherwise it just ends up... They end up circling around as we've seen, because they move back right as soon as the first bomb is dropped. And if you want to take out a line, you got to go forward through the line first. Their next order has to be a move as the bombs are dropped. However, a bunch of glaives trying to deal with this here. Not enough glaives to deal with this. And we do have another couple phoenixes deal with all this. Okay, that was a nice shot. That was where that particular behavior, that curve behavior worked out. Getting rid of the entire ramp. Go ahead and made that work nicely. More glaives coming in from behind, though, and that will still not be enough. We're going to go in for free, and this east side of the map, tons of reclaim, but no one can easily claim. I mean, Gode hasn't tried to claim it, and Randy has tried, but keeps losing it every time. Phoenix is going to stay at home for now, but more Phoenix is coming up. But four, no, three Phoenixes so far. Gode is basically going all anti-raider with his air, and Randy switching to air, getting a bunch of Avengers, and getting shadows. Probably going to try to kill off Gode's commander, and then... Well, at the same time, try to kill off Gode's Napalm Bombers. Kill off Phoenixes. But at this point, Gode is not relying on his commander that much. He is building up with it to some extent, but... It's basically just a worker and a couple mechs in one. He doesn't need the power. He doesn't even really... Need the, he needs the metal a bit, but at this point, they're pretty even for metal. And another battle being joined. The Avengers are getting rid of one of the... Well, they got rid of one of the Phoenix. They are going to have to try to get rid of the remaining ones, though. And... At this point, Gota actually having to move home. He's forced to retreat once again. Randy now taking the center, now taking the economy in the center. This is what really matters. He's taking all the metal in the center. He's taking the reclaim, but now he's pushed it into metal extractors. And same time, the Avengers coming in here, trying to do what they can, but what really matters is when the shadows are coming up, and they are not quite up yet. Three more Avengers and then shadows. But at the same time, Rocco's coming in here, and these might be the ones to get rid of the commander. However, Gota's commander can jump. That isn't important that you bear in mind. His commander is capable of jumping. So we've got to, got to watch for that, because it is going to be an important thing. Once these Rockos get in there, they're probably going to jump out of the way. The Avengers the Avengers are picking away at it. That's going to be a problem. Goda's commander is mainly threatened by the Rockos here, and the Rockos have now gotten in range. Slasher from behind to try to stop them, and they aren't going to be distracted too quickly. Goda's commander, he's pretty threatened. Not sure how threatened, though, and nice... A nice Phoenix shot on these Rockos coming in to flank. Godus Commander, however, running back into these Rockos, and it's going to go down in the process. Rockos moves through the fire. Actually, no, it's not going to go down. It avoids... Or does it avoid the Rockos? It's... Oh, just about jumps into the water to avoid the Rockos. Very cleverly done there. Gets completely out of the way. Shadow will be able to finish it off, but not the Rockos too easily. The Rockos have to go onto the cliff here, and Godus Commander now has a chance to heal up. However, Godin at the same time has still got an economic disadvantage. He is burning out a lot of these Rockos. But it's not quite enough. And these these Phoenixes are going down to the Avengers. And it looks like 
Well, Gota is trying to go for air control once again. He's trying to get back air control, but it's not helping him all that much. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage to the ground. Brandy's doing a lot of damage to the ground as well. And keeping the airplane plant busy is by keeping that napalm bomber damaged. Slash is trying to push away the Rockos to the that are attacking from the west, but really, it's the, everything from the south that's going to come in there and just finish off Gota's base. Now, Gota's commander doesn't matter. He's thrown in the towel. That is game. Realizes he just did not have map control. The entire game he had no map control. Randy was really on the ball with keeping that map control to himself. Not sharing it. That sounds kind of mean, yes, but 0k is not about sharing. It's about killing your opponent and making robots blow up. Anyway, I'll have another game for you guys shortly, so stay tuned. I promise robots will blow up in that next game.